greetings my family in Christ it's so windy out here I have to get this before the wind whips this around and makes it all blurry and this poor camellia has already lost a lot of its blooms but isn't it beautiful I just had to show you that and hey it's so good to see some color right everything has been black and white and waiting on birds a little bit boring I must admit but it is so good to see some blooms and I am blessed for it and the wind will start whipping it around so I'm going to move slowly so that we don't get too dizzy and we'll go look at another thing that I found that is blooming so praise the Lord and before I go I guess I can show you um, some of the uh, native hyacinths I think that's what they're called I can't remember off the top of my head so let's go see the Linton Rose. It comes up in the early, early spring and late winter. So it is somewhat of a pollinator. And while we go, I want to talk about what we're talking about today. And that is going to be the Mount Olivet Discourse. And it's where Jesus is talking to his disciples on the Mount of Olives. And he, here we go. Let me interrupt myself. Isn't that pretty? Just beautiful. Lens of birds. And the hellebores. So, we'll go see. Walk around. Kind of slow. I'm not sure what else. I have to stay out from underneath these trees. Because of the wind and the limbs that could come down. We have a lot of big old trees. But Jesus is telling his disciples about the, uh, the temple, Jerusalem, and the end times. And they're saying, um, tell us about this. And Jesus says, I'm sorry, the camera is, there it goes. It's just so windy. We're go I'm going to have to find a spot and we'll just sit there. Um, out, hopefully from under these trees. We've got daffodils blooming, so let's just stop right there. Anything with some color, right? And I'll pull it up a little closer. You can watch the wind, and you might hear the wind chime. Here is Jesus speaking to his disciples, and this is in Mark 13, verses 1 through 8. As Jesus was leaving the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what massive stones, what magnificent buildings. And Jesus replies to them, Do you see all these great buildings? Not one stone here will be left on another. Every one will be thrown down. As Jesus was say, sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us when, sorry, tell us when will these things happen? And what will be the sign that they are about to be fulfilled? Jesus said to them, Watch out, no one deceives you. Many will come in my name, claiming I am he, and will deceive many. When you hear wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginning of birth pains. And we just learned in Revelations about birth pains and what will happen before the tribulation times and the rapture when we was Christians and believers in God, His Son, and the Holy Spirit will be taken up and we will not have to be here during the tribulation time. And I am almost a believer that some of these signs have already been happening and that in, it seems in Revelations they are fast paced but I'm beginning to wonder if they're not slow paced to give everybody a heads up call and what is so neat about today's verse I was looking for the next thing for us to delve into and I have notes and books I mean notes and verses but I fell on this particular uh, passage so maybe it's meant to be that we should explore the end times and their hearts. Love you guys. Remember, Jesus loves you all. Stay sweet. Amen.